My name is Amanda Smith, and I, along with Rosemary LeBlanc, uh, own Seamless Workroom. And today we have two products that we wanted to um, show you. The first one is the Single Job Project Tracker, and this one is, is a product that we have had uh, for the past six months, and we have made some changes to it. So, uh, this is your instruction page. The biggest thing that we've done is you can now insert your own logo, and I'll show you how to do that. But the instruction page right here explains all of that. First tab is the scope of project, and uh, you can see that we've we've got a uh, a sample here for you. And this is just basic information: uh, designer, address, um, installer, those kind of things, list of rooms, and the projects to be completed in each room. This project tracker is very good for if you have multiple things that need to occur within one house or within uh, one job in particular. So um, you can list all your products on the left. This is the details page. You can see I've already included the logo here, but I will show you how I did that. You just go to insert pictures and wherever your logo is stored and you can insert it. And as you can see, it's awfully large, so we're going to scale it down. You can put this anywhere you want to. You make it as big as you want. You can put it in the center or or over here. I would suggest putting it on the left hand side. So you've got your logo um, where you want it. I would say the easiest thing to do before you fill this out for the first time is to control uh, to put it on every tab that you want it on. You could do uh, right click and copy. Go to the next page and right click and paste and it'll end up somewhere but then you can of course move it so back to details so we have our logo um, we've saved this logo was saved on an empty tracker so that you will not have to add the logo every time and you list your products to the left these fields can be filled in with either uh, written word or with dates and one of the things we're excited about is that the product page or column is going to stay. All the other columns will shift for you. So as you fill things out, you don't have to guess where what you had listed in line 14 as you move across, which product was where. So that's all of the tabs do that. Here's your materials page. Mark this up. Uh, we've color-coded it here at the top. Ordered, received, and inspected is a group. If you've got something that's back-ordered, when do you expect the delivery date and the date it was received? If something is defective, these columns are for that product. And if you've got missing shipment items and if it's been the designer has been notified. Process is completed. Uh, again, list your product. You can fill these in with yes, no's, or dates. Uh, under pricing and meterage, um, a couple of things. We have put all of the, the meterage and the yardage information in blue. The labor and the costing information is in green. Um, you, again, you list your products. Here we've given you six fabrics and the description line for each of those. So in this, for example, the bed skirt, the panels, Roma shades, and the faux shade are all out of the same fabric, and you could put the fabric call number there or Robert Allen, uh, something to, to define it. If you scroll down to the bottom, it adds up these fabrics for you. And the reason you have uh, two decimal places is so that you can show half yards, quarter yards, eighth of a yard, et cetera, um, if you have those. Then, of course, the columns scroll. We have all of your costing information listed for each of those products. Now, the costing information um, as you fill it out, it totals horizontally. So the bed skirt was 852, the three shams were 672, but if all this is for one job and you want to know the grand total of all those items, that grand total is at the bottom. So that's a, a, a nice page to be able to track all of your yardage and your uh, cost. Of course, we always have change orders. Um, two zippers popped. And then these questions were filled, uh, or these columns were filled with those answers. 
And then, of course, here's a place for your vendors used uh, so you can have all your contact information. Now, everyone, also, we've had people ask if these could be printed. Well, yes, they can, and we did fix it so that you could print it on um, a 8.5 by 11. So if you do File, Print, you can see that it prints your logo. Um, it prints all of these columns, but it's going to take eight pages to print that one tab because you have 100 rows and all of these columns. But the product column is going to stay the same. So you can see you've got request for quote for three pay, four pages, and then the other columns that were not printed earlier are picked up and also printed next to the product page, a product column. So you may have to choose which pages you want to print. If you just want to print this one page, that, you know, that would be page five. So you would have to come in and, you know, page five to page whatever um, that you needed to print to. So, but it will print on an eight and a half by 11 size piece of paper. So this is the Singlish Single Job Project Tracker. Uh, you can find us on our shop page at www.singlessworkroom.com. Uh, we also have a multi-job project tracker, and there is also another video that explains how that one works. Thanks so much.